Hey there, in this video we are going to look at factoring polynomials and specifically we are going to start with the basics of factoring a polynomial. So to start, let's talk about what a polynomial actually is. So a polynomial is an algebraic expression that consists of variables and coefficients. So we have some examples in this table, and we are going to talk about some names based on the number of terms in a polynomial. So all of these examples on the right here are polynomials. Now, if there's one term like here, or if we have two terms, or if we have three terms, it has a specific name that we use. That's a monomial for one term, binomial for two terms, and trinomial for three. It doesn't matter. Um, specifically like what exponent is on the uh, variables when we're naming these based on the number of terms. The only thing that matters is how many terms there are. And remember, terms are separated by addition and subtraction. So we have a term here and a term here. Or we have one, two, three terms here, or one here. So again, monomial means one term. Binomial means two terms. Trinomial means three terms. Mono meaning one, bi meaning two, tri meaning three. Now, when we get to four or more terms, so for example, one, two, three, four, five terms here, that is higher than four. So four or higher in terms of the number of terms is just going to be a general polynomial. So it doesn't have a specific name that we use um, beyond the trinomial. Now, factoring is just when we break down a polynomial expression into simpler factors. That's what we call factoring. And factoring can um, help simplify the polynomial or can help um, find a solution, which we will look at as well. Factoring polynomials is a common, test, a common task in aptitude tests. It may also be an effective method for determining the solution in situations where polynomials can be factored into multiple monomials, binomials, trinomials, etc. So we can take a polynomial and we can break it up sometimes into two binomials, sometimes into a monomial uh, multiplied by a binomial. Sometimes it's a binomial multiplied by a trinomial. It just kind of depends on what polynomial we have, but when we break it up into those smaller or simpler factors, uh, those are um, basically what tells us what multiplies back to the original polynomial. And we'll talk a little bit more about that soon. So with that, there are some methods of factoring. So there are two primary methods of factoring, and one of those will break down a little bit more in the next unit. Um, but the first one is finding a greatest common factor, a GCF. And that can be done with a polynomial of any degree. Um, and then we have our second primary type of factoring, which is factoring quadratics. And remember, quadratics are when we have a degree of two. That's a quadratic polynomial, so the highest exponent when in standard form is a 2. So for example, this right here would be a quadratic, and this right here would be a quadratic. But the first one right here is not a quadratic but the high, because the highest exponent is um, larger than a 2. So um, with that being said, our two different types of factoring. Um, the first one can be used with any degree, so it doesn't have to be a degree two. The second one has different types within that category, so there's guess and check, there's grouping, there's difference of perfect squares and more, and we'll look at that more in the next unit. Um, but some examples of factoring, so you can see here the original polynomial in this blue column here on the left, and then the yellow is once we have factored it, that's what it looks like. So for example, here, um, we can pull out what we call a greatest common factor, which we'll get into a little bit more um, here in a little bit, but that is considered factoring by GCF. And then when we factor into these two binomials here, both of these are considered factoring a quadratic. So as a reminder, we've talked about polynomials. We've talked about one term, two terms, three terms, and four or more. Remember, one term is a monomial, two is a binomial, three terms is a trinomial, and then four or more, we just call that a polynomial. Remember that factoring is breaking down 
a polynomial expression into factors or and those factors can be made up of monomials, binomials, trinomials, etc. And there are two types of factoring that we'll look at. In this unit, we will start with GCF, factoring by greatest common factor. And then our next unit, we will look more at how do we factor quadratics and then eventually use that to solve.